Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, a new game out by Game Labs, available on Steam. This is episode number 20 in our Let's Play series, Playing as the Spanish, and we are in the midst of a war with Italy, who we massively outnumber and outclass in terms of fleets, uh, and we're about to see how that pays off when we play, play an actual battle against them. Uh, this particular fight is being taken... Uh, from a live stream on my Twitch channel uh, from a couple of days ago. So if you're interested in following over there, uh, there's a link in the description. Uh, but this is going to be a massive fight. More than 10 enemy armored cruisers, 12 light cruisers. This is the vast majority of the remainder of the Italian fleet. It's going to be a big one. We'll see how it plays out. Let's jump right in. So we're just going to do it. We're going to fight the battle. Let's do it. It's the Italian Navy versus a small portion of the Spanish one. All right. Let's figure this out. Our CAs are abreast for reasons. Our TBs are actually in a sensible formation, kind of screening the whole thing. The purification. Why is she not in the battle line? Go join that. Craziness ensues. All right. Oh. Everybody's weaving all over. It's chaos. Right. Wee! Why is th I told him to turn, didn't I? Northeast, huh? So we got to turn. Yeah, colliding with friendly ships will not do damage. That's why I'm so flippant about it. Colliding with enemy ships does. Ah. Spotted to the north. Are they trying to run away? Are the bastards trying to run away?
We kind of got our fleet into like a somewhat sensible formation. CL's leading the charge. CA's in line behind them with TB's flanking to the columns. That actually is a pretty decent looking formation, if I don't say so myself. All right, so uh, the enemy usually comes in charging head first with their armored cruisers in the van. It appears no different in this case. So what we're going to do, we've got our line of three CA TBs on this flank. We're going to go ahead and turn these guys into them. We're going to try and get our torpedoes out and maybe take out the head of this enemy column. As a reminder, the enemy does have 10 CLs, so they got a lot of firepower in this group. We're going to have to try to use the, the TBs to neutralize that firepower pretty quick. One good thing for us, enemy fleet is glass jawed, so they don't really take a whole lot of damage before they all start flooding and sinking to the bottom like their submarines. Hey, maybe that's it. Maybe the town's invented the submarine. All right. Penetration and a fire. This torpedo boat may not survive long, but she doesn't need to. She just needs to get her fish off. I don't love firing torpedoes at the bow of the enemy, but I'm okay with it in this case because this torpedo boat will probably sink. All right, this guy's going to detach, work his way through the task force, holding off on firing his torpedoes for the moment. We actually... Yeah, we got a bunch of good hits there. All right, so this torpedo boat, it did its job. It can retreat out of the fight if it survives. We got a nice big kaboom. This is actually a CL, not a CA, apparently. Sure looks like a CL or CA. Lame. Alright. So maybe they didn't lead with their... Uh, Heavy forces, then. Oh, God. We're weaving through enemy torpedoes. And they missed. Nice. Or one dud. The rest missed. All right. This guy's going to follow, isn't he? So how about you detach? Because I don't want you to turn into that spread. And stay going this way. This is an enemy CL as well. All right. So we're going to charge into this enemy formation. They're down to 11. Seals now. Alright. Alright, that should be another seal gone. But again, now that you've fired off your torpedoes, you're kind of useless. Don't collide. Just got hit. Oh, 
think our lead CL just got hit. That's okay, I guess. We're pretty much lighting these guys up so far. Caster, the rest of these guys should be following. Alright, we're going to try and get our fish into this enemy CA. We've completely messed up their task force, I think. Italy doesn't have battleships, don't you lie to me, game. I know it's not that. Alright, fish are away off the... Uh Larch. Boom! Holy shit, these explosions are wild. Compared to the, like, subtler... Alright, so... All right, you fired off your fish, you get out of here. Caster, come sailing into this formation with the other five torpedo boats. We're going to turn our CLs and our CAs to get their broadsides into the action. No reason to charge in head first with those heavier ships. All right, we sank that enemy CA. I'm mostly concerned about the gunfire from their heavier ships at this point. Like, are these really CLs with these heavy looking turrets? I don't think so. Alright, they've got torpedoes out on Caster, right? The caster still hasn't fired its fish. So turn and fire, I guess. fish. Do we not get many hits on this? Fucking A. That was a waste at that CA. They're gonna fire more fish at me, huh? Alright, reverse your turn. Nice. Nice. Alright, another enemy CL's going down. I guess you can just sail through their line caster and get out of there. You too. Well, yeah. Alright, CL going down there. 
I don't even, I've lost track of what's all sunk so far. All right, we're telling our armored cruisers to turn. All right, I think we also got the Bowson. I think she's going to sink. All right, I think we've got two more TBs with torpedoes. Maybe not even. Oh, these guys don't even have fish left. Is that everybody's torpedoes? Sure seems like it. All right, torpedo boats did their damn did their work. Oh God. Well, she sank. Another enemy seal is also going down. All right, we're pulling Aragorn Gorn back. We're going to switch those guys to slower speed. My CLs are just, like, cruising into it. Okay, I've honestly lost track of what's all happened so far. There's other ships out this way that I don't, I don't think it's likely I'm going to stack wipe them if only because I think things are too spread out and I'm trying to keep my ships in a more cohesive formation. But we are certainly going to give them a major bloody nose. I guess we could have these light cruisers go after the other guys. We're gonna lose some of these torpedo boats as they try to escape. Oh, he fired all his fish too at the CL. So we did still have a few fish left. Of course, two duds on that. And the others miss. Moro also has torpedoes left. I thought they were out. Ah. Shoot your fish before you die. Nope. Okay. You've returned with dinner. Our 
armored cruiser line is engaged here. I think we mostly got CLs of theirs. All right, I think we're going to sink Serena. A dud torpedo just hit her. Doesn't matter though, she's going down. Okay, we're kind of stuck between two fuck. Right, fish in the water. I thought I hit pause. I swear I hit the pause button. At least they still missed. Our lead armored cruiser's taking a beating. Just saying it'd be great if you could go sink some of these guys. Just barely. That'll miss. Their uh, CLs are doing some damage, though. Good thing it started turning when I did. Miss that? Meanwhile, I don't think he's gonna miss mine. Boom! Another enemy armored cruiser's going down. Another enemy light cruiser's going down. They're gonna ram me. You have a stern tube, right? Fire that. They f hit me with a torpedo? Or was that a dud? I don't really know. Torpedo on the water. Attach and hard over. I don't think you're going to miss. Nope. Thought it was a dud anyway, lol. Now you're going to cross his T. You know what's interesting is that stern and uh bow sh bow rakes used to be like this devastating thing because cannonballs would you know pass the whole length of the ship 
But when you get to broadside era ships, you know, because of the way that the armor scheme lays out, it feels like it's nowhere near as devastating. Like you're more likely to just have a glancing blow off of them, it seems like. So many duds. That is the era. It is the era of uh, these ships. Our light cruiser over here, Leal Tad, is doing a pretty remarkable job against what I think is an enemy CA. CA. You can see it's almost sinking. It probably will sink. These rapid fire four and five inch guns in this era. Oh my god. Crossing the T is good for a number of guns on target. Yeah, but my point is more in the uh, in the era of Age of Sail ships, it also mattered because of the way the ship hulls were designed. That ships were uniquely vulnerable to stern on shots or, or bow on shots. And that was not really true as much in the era of armored ships. I don't know. Just interesting. And just just something I found uh, intriguing. Alright, so what do we got going on here? Go engage this guy in the smoke. Um I think they still have four or five armored cruisers. I don't I haven't sunk anywhere near all of their fleet yet. Yeah, our seal over this way just got hit by a torpedo. The Scipio Africano just got sunk. Can you sink the San Marco by yourself? Oh, you're gonna get hit again. Dud! Lol. Haha, -ha, you did! Alright, so this C this CL, the Leal Tad sank the San Marco and the Partenope all by itself out here. All by itself. It is going to sink itself. It's not going to survive, but that's that's wild. Oh no, I turned the wrong... Well, I don't even think turning into it would have made a difference. Emergency stop! Break all the engines. You'll still not get a miss. They're all going to hit. We might lose that CA. Three torpedoes into the side of the air gun. Still, pretty decisive victory, regardless of what happens here. Okay. Aragon. No, it's Aragon. Aragorn. Give me some token. Remember when Italy's had ships? I vaguely remember that. You think you're spending sending this splendid young this splendid foot soldier back home to Argon with his tail between his legs, but I tell you you are executing his soul. Okay. Um A lot of damage actually on several of our ships here and some of them are just like dead in the water for no particular reason that I can tell. I definitely didn't tell you to slow down to four knots. And you're detached so I'm not sure why I can't speed you up. The damage does not look that severe. 
I'm just gonna sit here and take torpedo damage. Also, the enemy is... That's like the worst accuracy torpedo shot ever. Nice. She's dead. Ah. That was like one volley and they were just like, bye. Oh no. San Francisco's probably a goner. She just took one fish. Second one's incoming. When I create a new ship series, name it in honor of Professor. Was that one of our ships that did well? I'm sorry, I'm not really paying attention to which ships are doing what. All right, we just lost one of our torpedo boats, which is funny because I can't even... It's been a while since any of them have been in the thick of it. Yeah, we got multiple armored cruisers, which are not strictly speaking dead in the water, but for whatever reason, they're... Why can't you speed up? Oh, jeez. She just blew up. Alright, there's at least three more armored cruisers I see here on the on the field of battle. Bourbon will sink, I think. Just too many guns arrayed against her. Got the two CAAs out this way. She's taking on too much flooding damage. She's, I th oh no, are they pumping that out? They are pumping it out. Okay. She's still got some time then. Uh, apparently our CL sank another enemy CL out this way. Leeltad still hasn't sunk despite the fact that she took like four torpedoes. Man, the enemy's got another battle line forming up over here. I was not paying attention and these ships are just ramming into the enemy and coming alongside of them. what I get for not paying attention to these light cruisers out this way. Alright, the Bourbon sunk. They also sank the Rugiro over here, so another enemy CA going down. Alright, this might be all... They've got... These three... They've got four seals left on the map. One of them is... Two of them are sinking. So I think they've got these... Two seals and a... Two CAs and a CL. I don't know if that's all they have left of their fleet or if other ships have sailed away. Okay. 
Okay, we've already ordered the armored cruisers out this way. Turn into it to avoid their fish. We managed to do that. Maybe turn away and get your own fish into the act. Might have already fired that one, I'm not sure. Alright, another CA going down. Our rear light cruiser in this column is dead. Somehow I lost track of one of my uh, CAs and it sunk. There's the CL, by the way. I was wondering where that guy went. He didn't just disappear. Someone sank my TB earlier. A couple of them escaped, but yeah, someone did. I think I got that CL with the, the other cruiser I had out that way, way off in the distance. All right, now miss me. I've got smoke. Nice. I don't know. I think those CL... All right, we got that CL with those cruisers. Now it's all just finishing off this armored cruiser, and that might be it. Certainly that'll be it of anything I can see right now. The Italians bring almost 500 hits, but so few damage is just not fair. That's because I my ships have armor, and theirs don't. That's what you get, AI. That's what you get. Put armor on your ships, and maybe that wouldn't happen. All right, another fish in the water. Boom. Also, that those torpedo boat charges of mine early on did a one did a number. All right, I'm not gonna end the. Okay, now she's sinking. Okay, so we'll end the battle, or I guess that is the end of the battle. I think we f did we wipe out their whole fleet. All right, so we had one armored cruiser moderately damaged. We lost one light cruiser sunk and two damaged. We lost two of our eight torpedo boats, which honestly, the way we use them, that feels like more than like that's a great result so three ships lost total the enemy lost all 10 of their armored cruisers and 12 of their light cruisers oh my god <laughs> oh my god they didn't even try to escape they didn't even run <laughs> Their armored cruisers were a mile away and they turned around and came back. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's what I call a victory. Okay. Uh, yeah, we already fought that battle and won. Well, so. The Italian Navy has one armored cruiser and two light cruisers left. They wanted to be brave. Oh, no. Well, that'll do it for this turn. <laughs> we'll end it. Even Operation Tengo, the kamikaze run out of the Yamato had more survivors. Yeah. Oh, boy. All 
All right, the Italian Empire's head of admiralty is suddenly replaced. Suddenly replaced. Uh, oh my goodness, I wonder why. <laughs> Overall, poor management must have been the cause. No shit. They brought in. Uh, they brought in his brother. They have the same last name. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, the Italian Empire lost six transports. Yeah, because they have nothing to protect their convoys with. Uh. <laughs> okay. I don't care about the British war against Germany. The Battle of Sardinia. The Spanish Empire loses 1,500 troops. The Italians lose 3,000. Is there really another battle? Oh my God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Italians, you got to give it to them. They sure got pluck. They've got one armored cruiser and two CLs and 18 torpedo boats. And their new head of their Navy decides, sir, let's send all those torpedo boats. Let's send him out. Let's get him. Oh, man. Well, that's a, that's a, that's a battle for another day. Um, I imagine Italy is going to collapse into revolution if we don't, uh, if we don't accept peace terms from them soon. I can't imagine that they will withstand this continued onslaught there unrest is 44 which seems high to me their naval prestige somehow is accepted at zero maybe it's just because we everyone admires their bravery uh, our naval prestige is 156 that's pretty high um yeah so we'll see we shall see it was negative 109 last turn it was humiliated oh oh because they got a new a new head of their admiralty. I think your prestige restarts if you get a new head of the admiralty. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. This is episode number 20 of our Let's Play series of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. We won a massive victory against the Italian fleet. The Italian Navy is no more for the most part. So we'll see how things play out in our next episode. Until our next episode, however, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.